Hello, everybody. Uh, laughing as usual, I was making um, Lightning McQueen <laughs> sound effects. Good morning, everyone. Let's see if we can get this video going on my side. Yep, that's today. All right. Hello, everybody. How was everyone's weekend? Uh, I did almost nothing on Monday. It was glorious. I'm okay, I did knitting, jealous. but well, I had... I had no appointments, yeah. but I did have to go pick up dog food and the child at school and take them to the school. So I did leave the house a little bit, but mostly it was pretty glorious. Nice. I don't remember Sunday. Oh, yeah, we did coffee with a group of friends. Yeah. Oh, then I went to go see my son at work at Seas Candy. That was so fun. Oh, I, <laughs> I drove by there the other day. I was like, oh, I should go see if he's working. Yeah. Um, yeah, I hadn't seen I haven't him. I stopped in there in forever. I hadn't seen him actually working, and yeah. it was pretty fun. So my girlfriend went in first, and he just happened to be coming around the corner with a, you know, shopping basket, yes. put it away, and he stopped, and he's like, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't seen her for a while, so it was pretty funny, and I'm hiding That's back out of, the, out of the way by uh, behind a pillar until I, you know, peeking around the corner to see him. He was so <laughs> And then my friend, she's like, come on, get in here. Oh, so how cute. We harassed him no end, and we finally told the other ladies. We're like, we know him, and Mark goes, yeah, that's my mom. So <laughs> it was so how fun. Cute. And cute. I didn't know if you get in, go and see, they give you a sample. Oh, you didn't know that? Didn't know, I've never in my life bought anything at C's. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, my, no. C's is my weakness. Yeah. But I'm really good. Like, I'll buy a bag of different ones, and then I literally eat, like, one a day. I don't. Yeah. I don't eat them all. Yeah. Most of the time, like my my favorite, I can't even eat a whole one. I do it in like two or three sessions because yeah. it's so sweet. Yeah. So I can't I can't do it all at once. Yeah. It's no. And I can't eat <laughs> like if they give me a sample, there's a, a brown sugar one or something, and oh, I cannot. Yeah, those are so good. See, I can't, it's too sweet. I can't do yeah. it. I'm nuts and chews. So oh, not me. Yeah. I like the other one, but. I've, I've eaten plenty of seeds because people, you know, you get it as yes, gifts, but yeah. I've never gone into a seeds before. Yeah, they're fun. Not, so, yeah. Dangerous and fun. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I was asking them all the questions. I asked for a peanut butter sample, and I said, does this have nuts? Because <laughs> he has to answer all, you know, everything is processed in a facility, blah, yeah. blah, blah. So he answered all the questions right in front oh, of us. Oh, very boss, cool. So that was fun. <laughs> Nothing like torturing him. <laughs> I totally set him up, but he did it. So. Oh my uh, goodness! Let's see That's what you funny. guys are saying. Oh, we got shares already. Deborah, you're in Florida. Fantastic. Brenda loves going to see. Yes, go see Marcus. He's there most some afternoons. He's still seasonal part time, but they're working on training him for other stuff. So I'm hopeful he'll get full time. That's awesome. That'll be exciting. Yeah. I know. I had a crazy weekend. I went to the Bay on Saturday. Ooh. I usually get to have lunch with my sister, but that was a whole mess. She had to cart my mom and her oldest around someplace. And um, and then so I headed back home, which was because I got stuck in that rain going down there. Ew. Oh, I almost, it was scary at one point. I almost pulled over. It was that bad. It's okay to pull over. I've done that. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, it was bad. And then um, coming home, thank God it wasn't bad. So. Yeah. And then um, Sunday, I had another fun class at uh, Secret Garden, Ooh, so that was fun. Nice. Yes, yeah. we did another uh, mosaic tile, and um, I love it because I said this way I don't I can do these fun things, and I don't have to buy you know all the supplies. All the supplies. Whereas like I'm already into knitting, you know, I've got my yeah. needles and all of that, so I do not need another item really? to yeah fill up a. <laughs> I almost got sucked into dichroic glass, and you have to buy a little honeybee kiln and my mom oh. and I were like oh should we do it should we do it? no yeah thank goodness yeah I haven't I did ceramics. desire to do it since but it's fun I used to do ceramics and my girlfriend bought a kiln so she had the yeah big, mom had a big kiln too yeah. never used it yep yeah no my <laughs> girlfriend did but yeah, yeah so that's the thing this is why it's nice to come even like doing classes here it's fun because yeah. you don't you can you don't have to maybe get everything. You can have your yarn and your needle and you're good. Whereas, you can piecemeal instead exactly. of buying the whole store. Yes. What you do with new hobbies. Yeah. You get everything. Yeah. yeah. Right? Someone who will remain nameless. It's a new knitter. <laughs> I won't say her name. <laughs> no, but she knows. Yeah. Is she on? I don't. I saw Brenda's on, but I don't know if she's on yet. <laughs> good morning, everyone. I see people joining. Yes. Names How's are going morning, Elizabeth. Haven't seen you on here for a while. Doesn't mean you weren't. I just haven't seen your name on there. <clears throat> All right, we're going to start with today's or this month's grand prize. We have our Whispery Hat Kit, come out, which is four skeins of French Angora. I'm going to be making Lightning McQueen sounds all day because I can't <laughs> talk. I don't know about you guys. My morning started by 
bumping my elbows into everything. Oh. I didn't spill. I didn't knock anything over, but I, I am going to get a bruise. Yeah. So, you know. Uh, yeah. One of those I had mornings. the droppies this morning, so. <laughs> so this is the Whispery hat, and you get a leather tag with the little care instructions on it. And this is the Copen Blue. I was going to say flavor. Hey, there you go. Ka-chow. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have lots and lots of colors in this. Yeah, I don't know if they can see them back there on that shelf. Let me try. I don't know. I mean, it's far away, and I don't know how to zoom in, but it's literally Under like the bags. right in the middle of your screen. Yeah. So I see kind of like a, a, a lime green. Yep, there's pink, an, there's purple. An there's... orange. Is that orange or pink? Coral. It's kind of coral. Yeah. It's not orange for sure. There's green, there's brown, fawn, lots of colors. Yep. So to go with our little kit, excuse me, you get three patterns. This is Autobahn, the fingerless mitts. You get the full pattern of the hat, which has three sizes in it. And Anteater. Super fun cow. Let's see, Daniel's daughter was at whatever college, and Anteater was their... Mascot. Oh, cute. So that is how it got its name because it was designed <laughs> at that time. I like that. Isn't that fun? <clears throat> We've got our rose gold crossbody bag. Those of you that watch every day, you know there's lots of pockets in here. I love all the pockets. Shoulder strap, wristlet strap, lots of space. Oh, yeah. They're a little flappy do. They've got it secured down so it doesn't flop around, but you you know makes it easy to pull the zipper closed. I like our terms. <laughs> what so we make up floppy do, floppy do, floppy do. <laughs> this cute little notepad, so notepad, spiral, blank on the inside. Cute little kitty cat. If you like to draw, you could color in little shadows under her. Susan's dying to do that. I feel like I am. Finished. I was just suddenly thought of like, ooh, good little doodle while you're yep. doing whatever you're doing. We've got the flavor family of caramels. This brand is so good. They're black lava sea salt. Oh my goodness. Every time we show this, I think about going and buying one. You should. <laughs> we have our cloth supply tin, which has our tape measure, our folding scissors. FAA compliant. We've got a half set of no snag markers and some rainbow locking stitch markers. How come when you try to be quiet is when you make the most noise? I know. Of course. Tapestry needle and the tin that it comes in. Everything fits but the tape measure, so handy dandy little kit to throw in your bag. I know Danielle took one with her. That's nice because everything stays in and you're not certain at the bottom right because like if you're traveling you don't want your whole gadget bag but no. that's got everything you need yeah throw some extra markers in there some extra safety pins and you are set we've got our multi-strand magnetic shiny bracelet it's shiny so you know it's good so pretty somebody's gonna know where that's from someday <laughs> <laughs> our cake sprinkles stitch stoppers super super fun and our 2.5 magnification gold sparkly leopard readers. They're so cute. I know. Don't get stuck. All right. All right. So how to get entered every time you make a purchase in the in this current month. So the month of March, you get entered into the drawing, and it is cumulative. So if you purchase ten different times, <clears throat> whether it be online or on the phone or in person you get to one entry per entry per. purchase yep and then we're going to draw it on the 2nd of april yes <clears throat> we forgot to talk about what's on your needles oh yes oh this is your okay. project so my shrug is growing so this is the class that i did in person and then now we're in there's going to be another one on March 30th, 30th there are on Zoom. four seats left. Four seats left. It is so much fun, so fast. I, the reason I didn't do more was because I wanted to check the space uh, mm. to make sure I've gone up enough ne um, needle size. Needle yeah. size. So. so I increased it a half a point, and then um, 
I'm going to continue maybe another six inches and see where I'm at and then increase from there. So because it is supposed to go over your shoulders because it is a shrug. So, yeah. So you want one one needle size for six inches and then we're changing yeah. the next size up. So what uh, did you start on a nine or a ten? No, I did a ten. A so 10. I so this is a ten and, and a half, half and that yeah. should go to an eleven. Yeah. It's gonna get really nice and loose and yes. it's gonna have such nice drape on it. Yeah, so and I'm just again still loving this yarn. It Isn't is it so nice. So soft. It is so uh, I can't explain how soft <laughs> How to describe did, how soft it is. I did a poncho for my sister out of this, and I don't. Did I give it back to you, Maggie? I don't know. It was a long time before I even gave it to her. <laughs> you know, this hero was up on display. I'm like, sorry, but I need it. I think I gave it to her now. I'm not sure. That's funny. I don't remember. I don't know if she's on here because I don't see. Uh, yeah. What yarn is the shrug? So that yarn is the cloud. Yeah. And then there's cloud tweed, which has a little. Tweety flex in it. Right. And I did not do the tweed one. I did the other one. Yeah. Three so. three skeins. Yep. Yep. So there's still four spots left in the on on Zoom class. Today's daily prize is Daniel's pattern gateau. I'm sure that's French. I want to know what it means. I know, I'm trying to think. Hmm. I was watching a cooking show and they said something, something, something gateau, and I'm like, oh, hey, I know that <laughs> word. I don't know what it means still, but that one had something to do with food. Maybe someone can tell us what it means. Yeah. <clears throat> so we've got one skein of Silk Garden in this beautiful. God, those colors are yeah. so rich. I love how you can unfold it. Oh, there's some more, and you just keep finding more colors in there. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, look, there's even some pink. Oh, it means cake? Cake. Okay. Oh, makes sense. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So how you get entered, don't knock over my cup with a straw, <laughs> it's too long for the monitor. So every time you give us a little reaction, you get entry. How many is it going to let us do? I don't want to time it out. Uh, so every time you make a comment, you get entries. If you share to your friends and share to your Feed. It used to say stories. Now it says feed. So you Whoops. get a point every time, and then you get or an entry. Sorry, and then you get an entry for ten for sharing and one for coming back and telling us you shared. That's it. <laughs> Come back and tell us. Oops, I put singular, but well, it has to be. Shared. shared to well shared is the main word and that is what lets it search for those extra entries and today's drawing is based on saturday's video with myself and brenda and her inaugural camera person <laughs> let's see who our winner is Sandy Tokenaga, very exciting. Nice. Sandy, you are local, and I know you'll be in soon because we have an order waiting for you. So uh, the way you can get your prize is if you are local, you can obviously come in. If you place an order, then you can let us know in the comments that you have a prize waiting for you, and we will put it in there for you. And then we hold it for a... A little, a yeah, about a month or over. We don't, we don't do under for sure. No, it's, it's basically when the uh, drawer starts getting full. <laughs> we don't have too much space. It is today the twenty sixth. Already, Brenda, I heard you want to take my spot every day with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I did not tell her that. <laughs> did not throw me under that bus. <laughs> she can't. She's not retired like someone else we know. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Forgot about that. Yeah. She's not old enough. Nice try. <laughs> Let's see. Making sure I didn't miss anything. Lots of congratulations. You guys are awesome. You did. I heard you <laughs> did a good time. She good did. For the first time. She did do a good job. Um, okay, do you guys want a sweet treat or do you want yarn first? I say sweet treat. I know, no, right? <laughs> Let's see. Is anyone going to answer? What do, we, what do we get? Um. Oh, hello, Sandy. Brenda says yarn. 
sweet treat, treat. Oh, it's funny because yarn. it comes up after you. I know it, it hits here. you first. It it's delayed. so weird. All right, we're tied. Next one breaks it. Yarn. All right. We have a reorder of the perfect spring and summer weight yarn. This is Damask. I don't know if we had this color last time. We got some new colors in this order. This one is color 10 Calypso. I'm so excited about these because <clears throat> I've been wanting to do a tank top in linen. So excited. Oh, so, there you go. Yep. Yeah, so I'm going to pick out a color. <clears throat> I have the pattern already. Nice. Isn't that, oh, Elizabeth, that is definitely in your wheelhouse. Mm, kind of a light cerulean. Maybe when the water's closer to the shore, I, I don't know. Yeah. 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 And I, I don't know. I told you guys before, I'm like hooked on linen. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm that weirdo that likes linen. You need this one then, and it's just going to get softer it does. with use and yeah. washing. And your first... First time you block it, you can, when it's dry, pick it up and just beat the holy heck out of it because yeah. it'll help it get softer. You can run your hands over it. You can whack it on the bed. Yeah. I, you, know, I, you can. I also heard yeah. another, um, before you even start knitting with it, you can wash it a bunch of times too before. But I'm like, that's, I'd rather just do it after it's I, made. Yeah, I wouldn't do that because this could turn into a cluster for you guys. So just let us wind it oh. and then it'll get softer. Our water man water is here. <laughs> <laughs> that's important. You have to keep us hydrated here. Um, <clears throat> good morning. So he used to deliver to my house and my children would not let him leave <laughs> until he turned around and headed them. It was them, very yeah. hysterical. He knew because if he took a step here, it would trip him for sure. Oh, geez. <laughs> Can you guys see the highs and lows in here? It's all the same color, but it's just different intensities in it. Yeah, you can see the light spot right here. Yeah, and you can see good. the darks too. I feel like this is showing a little darker on the camera, but... Um, a little bit, yeah. yeah. But it's hard with the blues and the teals. So. Yeah. The machine is still almost cool. Okay, okay we're good then. All right, thank you. Take care, guys. Bye, Bye, have a good one. Oh, yeah, she's got to lock up. Otherwise, uh, people start coming in. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the well, and you'll see the next colors coming up, but it is so pretty. And it it's soft. Even for it a is, linen, yeah. it's starting out softer, so that's nice. This is color two. They call it citron, which is pretty pretty good for a citron stone. Citrine, well, it's citrine-ish, but they call it citron. Oh, there's Maggie. Oh, yeah. oh we can't talk about her anymore. No, nope, got to stop talking about Maggie. Yeah. <laughs> Go back and look at the comments, Maggie. <laughs> were, were the comments or just verbal? Or verbal, sorry. Yeah, that's right. You have to watch the video. I forgot. Uh, Elizabeth. <laughs> I think it would do okay on the machine. I have not tried it, but you could get a skein and do a swatch, see how it goes. And if it doesn't like the machine, well, you can still hand knit with it. So I feel like linen, um, I don't know why. I mean, I know you knit on a smaller needle usually because you're usually doing something. Me? Yeah, but I feel like it doesn't, it doesn't, because um, it doesn't stick. So it goes, Yeah, I, mean, I it, feel like it goes pretty quick. It is a chain knit, so it sh I really, it should work just fine. I know she's thinking about this color over here. Yeah. That one, color nine. I'm going to call it Maggie, but its name is Lily. Is there a link to the yarn? Oh, yes. You have one, okay. and I have one. Thanks, Elizabeth. <laughs> ah, sorry. Wrong button. It's, it's this side of the camera. You forget to do that. Okay. All right. We got the link in two spots there for you. One floating, one in the comments. I wonder if the does that floating link show in a replay if you guys watch it later. I sure hope it does. Somebody let me know. Yeah, that that's good information for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> so this one's just lots of shades of orange. Ooh, this would mm. ah, chicken. This would make a good chicken. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have chicken on the brain. She it's does. ridiculous. It's so cute. You'll see them later. We'll, we'll show you guys the, the new one. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to show you some patterns. Oh, sure. I just switched hands. Okay. <laughs> you did. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Still. I love it. So I did some searching on the yarn itself and what people are doing with it. So this one is done out of 
a green color. It looks like it's side to side. Oh. I did not realize that. Oh, it does. It yes. Yeah. Well, it's and the some, pattern. Yeah. It's got some fun lace at the bottom. We'll show you the actual pattern. Oh, yeah, that side is to side. So Isn't that pretty? pretty? This designer, I've pulled up several of hers without even intending to, but she likes loose, airy, lightweight items. So this is awesome for I summer. I love it. Well, especially because, you know, 99% of the time you have to wear a tank top underneath the linen because, you know, you can right. through it. But that's what's nice about it is you can wear a tank top and still, you know, like our heat here gets pretty yeah. warm. So, oh my goodness, I love that. It must be reversible that lace is on the other side of... Oh, it's a selfie, I'll bet. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, I think it I is. I don't know. I think it is. So cute, though. Oh my God, I think she's got, looks like the same house as I have. That's funny. That's the same stuff in my house, only mine's dirt right there. That's pretty funny. I was like, that really looks familiar. <laughs> maybe she's uh, Susan's neighbor and we don't know it. I know, right? <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, I don't know anything about this designer, but I like her stuff. Oh, and she, uh, Elizabeth said, I like the half sleeve version. Yeah, really nice. Definitely, I do too. Oh, I mean, the, the short sleeve is oh, pretty yeah, too, but I sleeve. like, yeah. yeah, I like how. So it goes from a 40 to a 58. That's pretty good. That's nice. Yeah. So this is intended to be oversized, I think, since she starts at a 40. Yeah, six or more inches of positive ease. Five and a half tall. Very cute. Uh, has an option to make a longer length, which means since it's side to side, you would cast on more. For additional, each additional half inch in length, you need an additional 15 to 21 yards. Nice. So you want to make sure you get gauge on this one so you can match, obviously, the fitting size, but so you don't run out of yarn, you can get her. Uh... Oh, hey, anybody read that? Not me. Wow. If that's Japanese, Japanese patterns are pretty easy to follow because once you understand what you're looking at, because it's all, it's literally just the schematic and numbers everywhere. Oh. You figure out how to, you, I'd have to study it again, but. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Elizabeth, congratulations. And I get you on that second part there. <laughs> this one, it is a slip stitch pattern. It's kind of a Fabergé egg. A little bit hard to see on this one because of the color, but here's a more solid color you can see. So you're going to knit one, you're going to slip five with yarn in front and repeat that across, and then you do several plain rows, and then you come back and you pick up that strand that's sitting on the outside. It's a fun pattern once you get into the rhythm of it. Well, you definitely wouldn't be bored. No, you no. <laughs> you got right. four rows of, oh my goodness, oh, I get to do something fun. Yeah. So that is the real pattern. Let's see. Um, sizes, where are we? I like the little flowers she did. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so her sizes are based on, she doesn't have them in one line. She's got them spelled out pretty nice. Circumference in centimeters, but just grab a tape measure, find your centimeter, turn it over, and there's your inches. Susan, every time I'm with her, has a fun little trick. I don't, didn't even think about that. <laughs> I'll show you guys. So we'll say 30 centimeters. Turn it over. Close enough. It's like right there. So it's close to 12 inches at 30 centimeters right there. Yeah. Wow. 11 and a half inches. So patterns that say, you know, like, oh, Very cool. 58 centimeters yeah. is right there so you turn it over and look at that it's 23 okay wait you got to cap sorry <laughs> that's okay you know so if you go 58 centimeters right here turn it over uh very it's cool it's like 22 and 38 yep. you know yep almost 23 close so, enough yeah neat little trick all right i'll i'll stay here so you okay. don't have to go back and forth <laughs> She forgets when she's on this. I do. Fine. I it's hard to follow the person. <laughs> yep. Because the the camera you have to account for its it swing. moves. Yes. So this is color eleven. Oh, coral bells. 
It's pink. Okay, I was going to say, I'm it, sorry. It's pink. It's pink. Yeah. Um, You're, the camera isn't playing tricks on you. It's pink. <laughs> no, it's pink. So, I mean, especially if you put it next to orange. Oh, yeah. Or this one. Yeah. It's definitely pink. Yeah. But they can but call look, it. Brenda, you could do it because it says coral. It's coral. Yeah, it's coral, Brenda. <laughs> Who loves pink? Say, uh, I can't Sandra, say the name. Sandra, Elizabeth. Oh, Stacy says two and a half centimeters per inch. That's math. I'd rather turn the tape measure over. <laughs> See, the thing she can't do math, she can. She just fools. Well. I struggle with math a lot. Coral bells are a flowering plant. That sounds familiar, yes. And I think I can picture it in my head, too. I think I know which one you're talking about. Dude, they're, they're, they hang over? Yeah. They're, yeah, they're really cute. <clears throat> Trish likes pink. <laughs> okay, there you go. Ooh, I bet you could do date night with this too. And that oh, would be really pretty. Oh, did yes. Yeah, so this is color three, driftwood, which is very oh, aptly named. It's just all shades of driftwood. Wow. I gotta open this one up. This is so pretty. There, look at that. Got every shade you could want in there. They have a lot of nerve calling it coral. That that's finding <laughs> words. <laughs> oh, Maggie likes the pink and orange together. Oh, yeah, now, right. Definitely, those are pretty. <clears throat> we'll do a couple more patterns because oh. I have a lot of patterns to show you guys. Let's see, we did that one. This I thought was really fun. They did a table runner out of linen. Such a pretty design. It is really pretty. You could see turning that into the back of a sweater. That is so pretty. It's hard. It's, there we go. Yeah. It's just a lot of yarn over knit two together. So yarn over slip slip knits. That's what makes it lean everywhere. A little bit of seed stitch on the border. Yeah. And it's actual pattern looks the same definitely won't get bored with that one either no i would <laughs> i would do this one in some of the colors that are on the more solid side you would lose the pattern in like driftwood or citron but you know, yeah i agree actually one of our colors would be awesome for it we haven't looked at it yet staple linen top oh pretty <clears throat> Pretty straightforward. A little bit of something right there. Probably knit one, pearl one. There we go. Hard to see in the camera. Yeah, let's go look at. Oh, I love it, though. Yeah, it looks even prettier on. Yeah. I'm not sure how they did that detail there. I think it is knit one, pearl one. It's pretty, whatever it is. Uh, let's see. Wow. Extra small to a 6X. Wow. That is awesome. So bust can circumference from 28 to 68 inches. Cross back width at shoulders, armhole depth. That's awesome. Oh, this is Hohi. Hohi Locatelli. She's got awesome patterns. And look, 894 people have posted their project on Ravelry. Okay, I want to know what she's doing there. <laughs> she made a quilt square. I'm like, that's tough. Oh, and saw she's just got yeah, everything on that, there. Yeah, that's what my blocking board looks like a lot of times because I'll put as many things on it as I can at once. Ooh, this is cute. Yeah, you should make that. I. I know. I'm looking at because I have the pattern that I was going to do it in, but this is pretty though. This would be a great option for the Olympic, one of the Olympic sweaters. Oh, it would be. Oh, Eileen bag. This bag is awesome. We have done this one for years. I think this was early in store one that we did this one. It's a great pattern. Whoa, she's got one, two, three, four, five bottles of wine in there. <laughs> My kind of girl. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> got some fruits in there. 
and fruit is heavy too. It is, yeah. These bags are really, really good. And I believe, yeah, that one's a free pattern. All right, you guys, remember what we said before. If it's free and you like it, download it now. Get it quick. <laughs> Although even that you said this has been around a long time, you just never know. You do. You never know. One of one of the one of my favorite designers. She decided to take most of her old patterns offline because it was just. She said it was a lot to keep the old patterns updated, and so she just took them down. Ah. Oh, About once or yeah. twice a year, she'll put them back up. This one's really cute. This oh, is by I love this. Barocco. I feel like we have a leaflet for this. I may have to go. And look, but they made this one out of damask. So cute. I do like this one. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Three to, oh man, sorry, I get the hiccups. Three to four skeins of Juniper Moon Farm damask, which is what we're looking at. They used color Deep Sea. We apparently did not get that color in this time. Pretty, pretty. Like I said, I got a million patterns to show you guys. Here is a really cute sweater for a man. Well, anybody, really. Nice little raglan shaping, just your basic basic sweater. Really nice. I feel like if you could do the linen on the machine, that'd be a good one to do on the machine. You'd have to hand knit the yoke because yes. of the raglan shaping, and then, yeah. yeah, put it on the machine and zip that thing out. Can even do the sleeves on the machine. Oh, you could? Yeah, a oh. little, little bit of seaming. and Oh. So you, you hand knit the yoke. When you divide for the sleeves, you do you have to add your underarm stitches in plus one on each side for seaming. And then you hand knit for about an inch flat back and forth. And then you can hang it on the machine. So that goes for the front, back, and both arms. Oh, nice. And then you just got to seam it up and you're all done. Oh, I thought this was pretty. Oh, that is pretty. Okay, now I feel like that color is coral. Maybe it's done in this. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. On the, on the, oh, let me, let's see this one. Isn't that pretty? Why haven't that I done really that? Pretty. OMG. <sighs> <laughs> oh, the sigh. I know. <laughs> ah, the sigh. So they double-stranded fingering, but just use DK. 1,200 yards. Oh, I didn't go over the yardage on this. This is... 328 yards for 100 grams. Nice. Just under $33. That's a, that's a good size. Yeah. I do like that one. You could single strand fingering and just be a, get, you know, more yarn. I really like that pattern. Another sweater here. It is, is it dropped? Yeah, it's a drop shoulder. There's a little change in direction of the stitches right there. You probably can't see it on the camera, no. but I had to stare pretty hard at it to find it. It's not this one. <laughs> yeah, okay, so it's right oh, here. Oh, I see. That'd be really good in this yarn. Is a sweater on men's semi-formal? So if you have to put that on over a collared shirt, at least it'd be linen. Uh, extra small to a 5XL. Where's their numbers? 33 and 3 quarters up to 56. Nice. I love the patterns that give such a wide range. It's awesome. Yeah. It says before beginning your project, measure yourself to determine which size to knit. I'm going to change that and say have someone else measure you. You really cannot accurately measure yourself. Uh, agreed. <laughs> And that, wait till you see this next one. Isn't that cute? It's the same sweater for kids. <laughs> that is awesome. So cute. And a lot less yarn. I'm going to knit one for Al and maybe he won't be able to get hit stretch onto the counter. <laughs> She's <was> funny. <laughs> I think, but like tie it down on him so his legs I, can't I, jump up. <laughs> I wonder if they make a no jump harness. He'd probably have Sierra chew it off. He probably would. They'd be in he'd manage, together. Yeah, he'd manage to chew it off himself. Took me a while to leave this morning because I was watching him on the camera. 
And uh, yeah, he was, <laughs> his little paws were on the kitchen table. This is color eight, key lime pie. Pretty good name. Do you know Steve's Candy has key lime candy? Yes, do I do. Know? Yeah. My friend tried that one and I had already got mine. I'm like, oh, I want to try that. <laughs> Lots of lime green, darker green. It is pretty and green. Yeah. It's not my thing, but it is. I, no, I this like one's it. really pretty. It is. Are you going back to patterns? No. Okay. I just want to see what, if I missed any comments here. It's going to make you guys dizzy again. Right, Jackie? Driftwood really does look like driftwood. Oh, Melanie bought a pink and orange outfit. I think you need that yarn, Melanie. Oh, yeah. Or even the, well, I want to call it turquoise, but uh, to go with it, that'd be yeah. pretty. Our last color is 00, zero color ivory, which... This is one I was thinking would be awesome for the table runner. I'm going to go look for our little thing right here. No, not that one. We do have some leaf knits. Did you put that, that over here? I did not. The ivory does look a little whiter on the camera, just to let you guys know. So it is a little. It's very bright white. Yeah. <clears throat> a little brighter than our countertop. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we do have some leaflets. I'm just not sure where they are at the moment. They might have run away. I know. Where'd they go? Well, if you want a leaflet and you don't know which one, just say leaflet and we'll try and match something that goes with the yardage you are purchasing. We'll see how that goes. Those are all our colors. Um, oof, I have so many more patterns to show you guys. Let me find. Oh, okay. Show them this one. Then we have to get to our sweet treat. This one is crocheted. I just think that is so oh, pretty. Oh, how pretty. Oh, that's different. Yeah, you could do it all in one color. Oh, definitely. Oh, look, they're little squares. Yep. How cute is that? Talk about a good travel project. I'm thinking they're separate. Maybe I think you join them as you go. They kind of look like they're only joined, like in yeah, the corners. Yeah, they're joined right here, yeah. here, and here, and they're you know all the way around. I suspect you do one and then you do the second and join it. You would do this one first and do this one and join here. So you probably make a whole strip of them and then you would do another strip joining as you go to the edges that you can. How cute is that? That is really cool. 38 to a 75. That's a good range. On the size B hook. That seems a little small. Maybe she's a loose crocheter. Whereas I am very tight, I would have to definitely go up. But you definitely want to swatch. This one's cute. Oh, I like one's it. It's crochet as well. Cute little sweater shrug thing. Shawl? Maybe it's a shawl. Did they add? I wonder if she sewed the sleeves in on that one. Okay, now we need to know construction. Oh, it's draped over. Oh, yeah. So you could attach this corner back on this side and give it some sleeves that would hold it still. Kind of a triangle. With a rectangle. I feel like if you don't, it's going to keep moving on you. Right. You I wonder if anybody has. Pin. Let's see. So she did it where she cute. put buttons on That's it so cute. it doesn't move. Yeah. Let's see about that. Okay. That's really cute. I was hoping there would be a, a laid flat picture. Has Susan started a crochet pattern yet? Is that a question? Yes. Uh, just that shawl that I'm attempting, but I might need some different yarn and do this one. This is really cute. Oh, you guys, we might have created a monster over here. You might have. <laughs> I like crochet that doesn't look like crochet, and shawls do that, and some sweater patterns. I have done an entire crocheted sweater for my grandma, so... I can do it. I just don't very often. This one's crocheted too. This is a fooler. 
Oh, I wonder if it's Antar or not. If it's Tunisian. Elizabeth, I agree. Oh, are you guys talking about me? <laughs> yes. Oh, this is cute. Granny square side split top. So it starts like a granny square, and then it's going to have some side seams, and you can seam it all the way down if you want. You don't have to leave a great big split in it. Yeah, her, I probably wouldn't leave as big of a split. I think she's just got it tacked right under the arm. I would rather have it, you know, down here yeah. and give it a, a high-low hem. Yeah. But it's also going to depend on fit. But it's cute. All right, we're going to go to our sweet treat so that we have time to show you our new little critter. And classes. And, yep. Let me see. What do we got here? All right, you can switch your link. Let us do this one here. Okay, pretty yarn. Let's scooch out of the way. Whoops. We have new flavors in the Dutch House Caramel family. Uh-oh. I know. it. This one is cherry. Ooh, it changed on my screen. Yay. Yay. I have not tried them yet, but they are on my list. That one is cherry. This one is apple. Mmm. If you get I apple. I love caramel and apple. Yes. If you get apple and jalapeno in the same purchase, We'll try and put them in separate bags because they have the same color wrapper. They do. I thought so. I was <laughs> like, I think that's the same color. It is. <laughs> that could be a surprise if you got uh, jalapeno and were expecting that's apple. Yeah. And my absolute favorite, maple. <gasps> right? Yum. Eileen, have you tried yours yet? I want to know. Yum. Give them a quick pan of all our flavors right there. We still have the other flavors, but these three are brand new. Oh, Elizabeth, I know there's no purple. Hey, maybe next time. Well, there's licorice is the purple. Oh, she was talking about the yarn, I think. Oh, yeah. God, yeah, yeah. All our caramel flavors. Yes, yeah, so uh, what have we got? Maple, chocolate, and then down here we've got the jalapeno and original. And then... Chocolate sea salt. That one. Oh, Huckleberry. I haven't tried that one. And then this one's covered. Hold on. <laughs> is that just plain? Uh, why is it sea salt? It's sea salt, yes. Yeah. And then we got licorice up here. I don't know if you did yeah, that one. Yeah, I did that one, yes. Because yeah. that's what I thought she was talking about, purple. That's oh, the yeah. of it are purple. So we got cherry, apple, and maple. And then I passed over our cute oh, little bunnies. Eileen says, love bunnies. all the new flavors. <laughs> yep, we still have... Few, we have a few left. A few bunnies. People have been saving the bunnies because I said they were caged up. You guys got to save the little <laughs> caged bunnies. <laughs> Help. Exactly. Help, let me out. Somebody let me out. They're so cute. Okay. All the pink ones are gone. So are we going to the classes? Yes. Let me grab this. We are going to introduce you all to Ruby. Oh, her name is Ruby Lucille. So cute. She is one skein of dappled cumulus, which is this one. This is called June Afternoon. We got a restock of this one. So Ruby is, is just very cute. And I got smart this time. Inside her, you know, the... Um, the computer wrist rests that have the little beads in them, not gel, but the beads. So one of those is is inside her. So she's a little bit weighted. So say hi, kid. Maggie. <laughs> You're staying here for a little while. Yeah, Maggie. <laughs> Ruby's gonna stay here, but Ruby has some friends that are gonna stay overnight with her, so she doesn't get scared. She has some goldfish that are gonna stay with her. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so our charming chicken class is in the boutique Saturday, April twentieth. 27th and May 4th. One skein of cumulus will do it. If you want the little crown and the wattle, you'll need about 10 yards of red, and then you need a little bit of whatever color you want your beak to be. I just keep going in my child's room and raiding her yellow cumulus and there you go. using that one. <laughs> I don't think they'll miss what I've used. I, yeah. I, I ask first, yeah. but she's like, yeah, okay. 
And then the eyes, I put kind of bigger eyes on her this time. Those are 12 millimeter. I usually do the 10. So cute. <clears throat> cute. All right, our other class is Sunset Kisses on Saturday, April 2nd. That is over Zoom. You need one skein of Cosette is what we used. So about 250 yards of a DK weight. Calls for a nine needle. I think I used an eight just because I know Cosette grows. Where did you get the chicken eyes? Off of Amazon. They're just kid safety eyes. Okay. You can buy by the bazillion. You can buy like 12 of the same size. Um, yeah. These have actually a little sparkly. I don't know if you can see them, the little sparkly backing on them. I can. I don't know if it comes through on the camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I made them a little oversized so they would show. They're typically supposed to be the same size. But since it's not going to a kid, I didn't worry about it. Maggie, don't chew on the eyes, okay? <laughs> and keep Daisy away from this. Ooh, I hope Daisy doesn't try to eat the chicken. She's a yarn nibbler. Oh, is she? Yeah. yeah. Hobby yeah. Lobby, too, someone said. I, oh, I don't shop there, so I don't know. Ooh, we had our blocking class Saturday. It was a arousing success. Our next session is June 15th. Lisa, if you're watching, your item is dry and ready to be picked up. Uh, this class, definitely, you have to bring all your own supplies. A basin, blocking mats, towels, pins, combs, wires, whatever you choose to use. And a finished project, of course. I had one gal, she brought swatches for sweaters. We had a scarf, we had a shawl, and a hat. I'm missing one. What was the other one? Everybody but one got to take it home because it would fit in the back seat of their car, but the shawl was too big. That's a great idea, though, if you've got a bunch of stuff that you're trying to swap for to bring those. Cause, yeah. Because you don't definitely want to stretch that too far. You kind of want to learn how to yeah, perfectly yeah. get that. Yeah. So we also have our Saturday Shrug, which is March 30th. There are four slots left in that one, and that's the one Karen's doing. She's got three skeins of a bulky weight yarn cloud. She could use anything with the right yardage. And then we have the date night tea, April 15th and 27th. This is the one, this would be really pretty in the damask. I love so that. So pretty, I know. Yeah. Trish finished hers, it's so pretty. Oh, all right. All right, we will talk about what we are wearing. Cute cardigans in the background. Oh, let me grab one of those. Oh, there's not many left of those cute cardigans. <laughs> They're so cute. These are ready-made. We did not make them. This one is zero to six months. So if you need a quick gift for somebody, do this because it's already done. I believe it is acrylic, so it can go on the washer and dryer and survive whatever the baby is going to do to it. And that, those buttons are adorable. Yep. We have uh, heart buttons and round buttons. And let me see what they are called on the website. So cute. Let's see. Okay, let's do it this way. Uh, Deborah wants to know how much also. Uh, just under $48. They are kids cable knit sweater is what they're called on the website. Let me find that for you. There it is. I'll post the link for you guys. Oh, yes. All right. There is a link in the comments. Karen does not have that one because we just went rogue. <laughs> um, Deborah, though, it is not a pattern. It is a ready-made finished sweater. They are on the website. Yes, I just posted the link. Is the rainbow shawl behind made with Lanello? Yes. Um, this one is Lanello. I really got to make better notes. I used a nine. So you guys can see it. Oh, sorry. I nope. forget. <laughs> This one is a nine. It was one skein of Lanello. This color is sold out, but if you would like to order it, call me. We can do it as a special order for you. 
but there's lots of fun colors. Yep. If, let me, if let me get the look, link for that one. Yeah, if you take a look on there, there's a lot of fun colors. Oh, come on. There we go. Get the link for that one. I love it. You guys have questions. There you go. Yeah, I used a size nine on it, Jackie. And as for what we are wearing, this one is called Cosmic Girl. Yeah. Two colors. Holy. It's it a looks, big one. Yeah, it, it looks like three, but it is two. It's because this color here is a solid. Let me put it here for you. So this pinky red is a solid, and the cream is a solid, and then you two row, two row, and it really, it, it fools your eye. It's like three colors. It makes that pinky red really lighten up. Jackie got that color before it disappeared. <laughs> yep, this is Feather and Fan. I was going to say. Can't see it there. Maybe it's there. there. Yes, much better. It's Feather and Fan-esque. They've changed this right here. Normally, this whole thing would be garter stitch, or it would be stockinette with a garter row. But I love that they changed it with some stockinette stitches and then garter and then stockinette so and then lace. This is, this is a fun... It's been a long time since I've done it, but just looking at that pattern looked really fun to do. It must have been because I finished it. And it's got a little Pico bind off, which yes. is a lot of effort, but worth the effort. The, the finished design is really, really gorgeous. Would, that, um, would this work with a damask? Yeah, I think you could do that. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's show what you're wearing because... I have to go teach Daniel's class on Zoom today. Oh, yeah. Susan's the teacher for the week. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't remember the name. Uh, Marlene, the shawl is Cosmic Girl. I will put the link in the collective and in the YouTube description. Um, it's going to be late this afternoon before I get it in there, but it is Cosmic, C-O-S-M-I-C. -S You're going to have to take that one off so we can read the tag. Neither one of us remembers that no, one. And we looked at it, but, you know, that was so an hour ago. Yeah. Scribbling. Scribbling's cowl. So this is done with one skein of, did I put the, there's your little bar or QR code if you want to scan that with a second device. It is made with a self-pooling yarn, which is, you better hold those markers yep. not long enough. Yep, yep. Those two, which is Marmont by Alexandra. So my modification to this pattern, it was pooling. Yes, it's supposed to pool, and you do things when you get to that color, but it was not pooling in an attractive way. It's supposed to be a drop stitch, I believe. So instead, I just did yarn over knit two together when I got to the, in this case, the splash of pink. The opposite colorway is more gray than pink. One is pink more than gray. That's so I Yeah. I just so. love it. That was my only modification. I followed their numbers and just went till I ran out of yarn. All right, so let pretty. us sign off because I got to go get things ready. All right. Well, All right. thank you guys for joining us today. Thank you, thank you. It, it made our Monday slash Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Don't mess me up. It's Tuesday. <laughs> it felt like a Monday. It made it go uh, a great start to the morning. Yes, yes. So thank you, everybody. We will see you uh, tomorrow. And if you're in class, either on Zoom or in person today, I will see you later. We're here 11 to 5, and you guys have a great day. Thank Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>